my name's Rob Jones and I'm a consultant surgeon who specialises in surgery of the, the liver and the gallbladder. Um, and probably 80% of the operating and patients who I look after are patients who've got bowel cancer that spread to their liver. That's actually my main research interest too. Um, and I was lucky enough to do a PhD when I was training in advanced and metastatic bowel cancer. And I've now been appointed as the Bowel Cancer UK um, research lead for advanced and metastatic colorectal cancer. So part of your role is championing clinical trials, as I understand it. So what clinical trials are you working on at the moment? So treatment, surgical treatments for patients with advanced bowel cancer have been sadly lacking. And the, there's a number of reasons for that. Patients haven't been seen by the right people, so they haven't uh, they haven't been referred to surgeons and so they haven't seen surgeons who deal with advanced metastatic bowel cancer. And also trials in this setting are very, very difficult. You know, you will know that not all patients with advanced bowel cancer are the same. Mm -hmm. Some have very advanced cancers in the colon and a few small spots in their livers. Some have lots of lesions in their livers um, and they've already had their bowel removed. And so we're looking at a number of different novel trial designs, new trial designs, to try and get a bit more information about the best treatments. For instance, if patients have bowel cancer that spreads to their liver and they're diagnosed, we don't know what the best sequence of treatment is for them. Is it best to give them chemotherapy first? Is it best to give them radiotherapy first? Is it best to take out their colon first? Is it best to operate on their liver first? And we don't know which of those sequences are most important. And importantly, we don't know what the impact of those treatments are on patients and their symptoms and their quality of life. And for these patients, that is just as important as anything else, because this isn't a treatment that's going to take two weeks or four weeks or six weeks. This is a treatment that might take 12 months or 18 months. And if we get that sequencing wrong, we can actually make things pretty miserable for people. And so we've got a, a study called Accelerate, which is where patients with this cancer, bowel cancer that's spread, will give us regular updates during the course of their treatment about how they're feeling and the impact on their symptoms and the impact on their quality of life. And we will hopefully be able to better define the best way of sequencing these treatments. Okay, so different, you've got different cohorts of patients going on different treatments in different orders and they're reporting back to you about how they're feeling and yes and importantly they're telling us about what is important based on what they think is important we're not giving them a list of 20 things that we think are important this is all very much patient defined about patient outcomes um, and that is that is that is just as important as anything else mm -hmm.